Away from the spotlight, some families were given time with a piece of war memorabilia that's come to symbolise mateship and dedication. The piece has made a long journey from Afghanistan to the war memorial here in Australia. Cathy McLeish spoke to one of the families who attended the private ceremony. Australians don't often see or hear from the fathers and mothers who have lost sons in Afghanistan. We donated Scots medals to the war memorial for safekeeping. The Palmers are at the Australian War Memorial to commemorate their son and his mates. These medals can be um, shown to the rest of the public of Scott being a representative of all the fine boys that we've, who have served Australia and, and uh, sacrificed their lives for Australia. They've come to see Private Scott Palmer's medals and another piece that's been added to the memorial's collection that holds great significance. We'll need to consolidate them just There are those objects that really tell a story. They tell the story of what an Australia soldier does, what, what they do, where they go, uh, the dangers that are inherent in everyday activities uh, when they're deployed. And this is one of those objects. On the 21st of June 2010, Australian commandos involved in a counterinsurgency operation in southern Afghanistan were travelling in four coalition Black Hawk helicopters when one of the choppers crashed on landing. Fifteen people were on board. Privates Scott Palmer, Tim Applin and Ben Chuck lost their lives. Eleven others were wounded, including seven Australians. An American pilot was also killed. It was early hours of the morning, um, I think seeing the tragedy unfolding before them, using probably headlamps to try and assess the, the situation, I, I don't think I could put myself in their, their shoes. In the tragic aftermath, the men on the ground tore the Black Hawk door off the down chopper. For Ray Palmer, it's a sign of the lengths his son's mates went to to help him. I think it's, uh, it tells a good part of the story is the Australian ingenuity. Um, they'd run out of stretchers, so they had to go and get a piece of the aircraft to, to be part of a stretcher to try and get one of these wounded um, onto another chopper to get many vacked out. This year, Corporal Bradley Passmore served at the Coalition Military Hospital where the wounded were taken. He's not surprised by the efforts of the men. He says even severely wounded soldiers are more concerned about others. Probably 90% of what they say when they come through the door is, you know, how's my mate? For two years, the doors hung above the emergency ward, where it became an emotional touchstone for staff. The Black Hawk door was used to carry casualties. Well, what it means to people is, you know, use any resource that you can to save a life. You know, if it's a tree branch to use as a splint or it's a Black Hawk door to carry the casualty to a hospital, you know, just use what you can. I'm very pleased that the families have agreed to allow us to present this to, to the War Memorial. I think it's uh, something, as I said before, they can actually you know, get a bit up close and personal with. Um, just stop, think uh, and remember those we've loved and lost. Ray Palmer wanted the door to be seen by many. At least we actually got it a place that can be viewed by not only the general public but the, the children as well coming through the school excursions and, and maybe they'll get a little bit of uh, understanding of the loss all the Australian community goes through when we do lose one of our boys overseas and the wounded and what they go through. The Black Hawk cowling will go on display in the War Memorials Museum in 2013. It just reaches out, you can see the, the tear marks where it was torn off the fuselage. Um, it, it still has the timber beam and the chain from where it was hung in the trauma bay. It has the motif on the front that shows the location of of where the incident took place, the um, upended rifle with the, the boots and the, the helmet. It has the silhouette of a soldier carrying his mate. It, it is one of those objects that embodies the very principles of what uh, the memorial is founded.